What's up everybody? My name is Joshua and this is Scent Vibes. We're going to go ahead and review the fragrance Valentino Womo Born in Roma Intense, the Eta Parfum. So let's go ahead and get into it and uh, roll my intro. So here's the fragrance here, Valentino Womo. This is the Born in Roma Intense version. This is the 2023 release. And uh, they've come out with a couple of releases. There is the Yellow Dream, there's the Coral Fantasy, there's the OG, and here we have the Intense. So what's so intense about it? Let's go ahead and find out. Now, first off, I wanna go ahead and thank everybody for stopping by and watching another video. I really appreciate everybody. My subscriber count has been growing and I wanted to thank you guys for that. Uh, if you guys are interested in fragrance related content and it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscriber button. And this is the type of content that you will be enjoying uh, in the future. So guys, let's go ahead and get into the notes. So in the top notes, you have vanilla, you have some ginger, some citrus notes. They don't really identify which ones and some spicy notes. Heart notes, you have nutmeg, lavender. And in the base notes, you have smoked vetiver that provides a nice woody allure uh, to the fragrance. Now guys, off of my skin, when I spray it, let's go ahead and give it a fresh spray right quick. Uh, Go ahead and give you guys a fresh spray. Off off rip, you get you identify the uh, citrus notes. When you look at some of the websites, uh, a lot of it just says lavender, or a lot of it just says vanilla, lavender, and vetiver. But I pick up on some of those citrus notes. It has like nice, it has a nice zinginess to the fragrance that kind of mixes in with the vanilla. And the vanilla has a nice uh inviting smell to it eventually that ginger starts to kick in and you get a nice bright opening uh the scent right here is a nice uh traditional scent it's nothing that's gonna do anything uh outrageous later you start to uh after a couple of minutes you start to get pickups on some of the lavender that kind of comes into the fragrance and about about an hour into the fragrance you get some of that smoked vetiver so that kind of all provides a nice sweet uh, luring types of scent the scent that's kind of wearable and nothing that's uh, going to put anybody off It's a very uh, I don't want to say generic but it's a very likable scent now guys let's go ahead and talk about the performance now the performance on this one uh for an intense version i was a little bit let down i wasn't really impressed with the intense identity that this fragrance carried however uh the fragrance uh performs and it's loud in the opening it does project it projects for a good like hour hour and a half off of my skin but eventually the fragrance kind of regresses to become a skin scent um it's not anything that's going to be uh filling a room it's not like a room filler at all it's not something that somebody's going to smell uh away from you that gonna, that's probably like about a couple of feet away from you this is something that's kind of like a uh like how i like to say a scent that's meant to be discovered uh, but you know the scent profile is really good so if they do discover it they're gonna really enjoy it on you my wife uh, she, like I said, it projected for the first hour, hour and a half at max, and uh, she smelled it, and she was like, oh, that smells pretty good. It smells, you know, I felt a little bit offended. She was like, it smells a little different. A little, it's not as much of a unisex type of scent that you typically wear, and uh, or I've been typically reviewing. And uh, so it has like that traditional uh, fragrance smell that, you know, most people wear. So that lets you know this is a mass appealing scent, a scent that, you know, your average Joe will be okay with putting on. As far as a fragrance collector goes, you know, eh, it's not necessarily something that, you know, is going to excite us too much. The character on this one is nothing that's doing anything challenging. Uh, it's nothing unique uh, to my nose. Like I said, if, as far as a fragrance collector goes, you, if you have some of the fragrance, fragrances that have been released within the past like five years, you pretty much have something that smells like this in your collection. It's not doing anything unique. So character, uh, there's not much character. It has that 
uh, Born in Roma DNA. However, if you're looking for something that has a bit more character, a little bit more uniqueness to it, and, and that they're not really unique, but they smell better to me, I would pick up Coral Fantasy and Yellow Dream over this one. Those two are better than the original, and it's better than, than the intense to me. Now, if, as far as appeal, like I said, this is a mass appealing scent. Uh, it is a little expensive, you know, some, a lot of the scents have been going up lately, and you gotta pay to play with some of these designer type of scents nowadays some of these scents are about the same amount of money as some of the uh niche fragrances so uh this one right here goes for 128 dollars and that is for the 100 ml and for the 50 ml is 110 bucks so you gotta be willing to pay for these bottles now they are nice bottles nice presentations you have the nice appeal with these fragrances um you have the nice what i like to call kind of like that studded look on the outside of the bottle um you know it has a premium feel to it and you have like that leather uh logo or a leather background for the uh logo for the fragrance here and uh everything seems high quality nothing seems cheap about the bottle and the scent you know it's a mass appealing scent it's likable it sm smells really good but it's just not doing anything um, that's like challenging has a nice vanilla character to it likes like citrus zinginess pop to the opening and it, it eventually you get to that smoke vetiver now the smoke vetiver i mentioned it earlier but the smoke vetiver isn't doing anything like where it's like too overly smoky it's just as like a slightly earthy nature that is definitely needed within the background of the fragrance as far as seasons go i believe this is coming up at the perfect time of the year i believe this works really well with the spring and even fall uh, winter, on the other hand, I feel like it hasn't really performed when I wore it in the cold weather, um, but you know, that's okay. Now, occasions, I believe this is a perfect office type scent. It's not offensive at all. You can wear this in the office. I believe this is a nice, like, casual lounge, uh, lounging type of scent. Something that you just want to wear with a white t-shirt. This is nothing fancy at all. I wouldn't wear this as, like, a dress-up type scent. Me, for me personally. I identify other fragrances for those different types of occasions. Now, as far as like gender, I believe this is a unisex scent. Uh, even though my wife felt like it wasn't, it's more of on the uh, masculine side. I do feel like the vanilla, it kind of carries towards more of a playful type of vibe and it kind of meets you right in the middle of, as far as being a unisex scent. Uh, I believe this has a youthful uh, vibe to it, but maybe somebody that's a little bit more mature wouldn't gravitate towards something like this. I believe, like I said, it has a playful vibe, so uh, it might not be for you know everybody's age group. And overall, guys, I really, really do like this scent. Uh, I, again, I was a little bit let down because the longevity wasn't like uh, anything outstanding for an intense upgrade above the original i believe i felt like it should have had a little bit more um in the base it didn't transition all that too much uh it didn't really do anything uh crazy as far as the character it wasn't really unique um so it wasn't something that's gonna oust it you know that's gonna be something i'm gonna reach for all the time in my collection the bottle looks really nice which is really pleasant um and if you buy from the store, you get a really nice, uh, they ship it really well. You get some samples, which is really cool. Um, but, you know, the fragrance is a little expensive for a, to me, a generic type of scent. So, uh, for me, I'm going to give this fragrance a 7 out of 10. Uh, it's a likable scent, but it's just not something that I would find that's, you know, a powerhouse in my collection. Something that's like a standout, a knockout in my collection. All right, guys, so uh, that is the review of the Womo Born and Roma Intense version. Uh, if you guys appreciate it, go ahead and give me a like. I really will appreciate that. And uh, it will definitely help this channel and this video to grow. So until next time, guys, I will see you uh, on the next video. I hope you guys will continue to comment on this comment section below. Uh, keep smelling great guys stay safe in what you do and until next time deuces